All right. <clears throat> Unedited audio for How She Move review. So How She Step Up. Man, How She Move. She oh, moved too uh, too nice for an underage girl, man. <laughs> they don't need to be doing that. I'm, Hard candy. Man, I am praying. Well, she's she's a senior. She don't know where to college. So I'm praying she's, she's 18. A, dude, okay. Listen, <laughs> I know we cartoon characters and all, but you are too old to be messing with teen anything. I know. I was going to say, this is the most insincere, oh, I hope she's okay message I've ever heard. Man, y'all acting like I'm going to get her number and go look her up wherever she is. <laughs> I'm just saying. You acting like you're not. <laughs> exactly. I, I was on the internet today yeah, trying exactly. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if I checked your history on the internet, it'll have orbits on it. <laughs> no, he's got it all filled up. He's too busy chatting with Juno. <laughs> you, how I move. Yeah, yeah, Ellen Page and this chick, man. <laughs> Some fun times. How, how I move, I move right over to the keyboard and like try to see if they were legal. Now speaking of this, how you, how she move? I am sick of these movies with these bad grammar titles. How she move? She hate me. You got served. You, what the hell? I'm wondering how long it's going to be before they're just all written in internet speak. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. LOL, the movie. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's funny you should say that because every crew in this movie, no one of these little bastards I like, can't spell. Every crew had a name. Like uh, the, they had Fem Fatale. It was F E M P H A T L E. Oh, Another one was like indiscreet or something. It was I N or it was like E N T I S K R E E T. Another one was like assholes is a s w h o l z and you know I, I, okay I, I made up that last one but i, I, now, now, I could offer a, a logical explanation wait a minute, for go, that. what do you say i could offer a logical explanation for that just in the way of led zeppelin and def leppard you do that for copyright purposes but i think in this case it's just because they can't spell i think that there's some of the people who come to spell really. <laughs> <laughs> not all of you no, not no. all you just a few you know who you are you know you have spell check yeah, just you, don't want to use it <laughs> yeah that's right uh the guy who can't spell predator but <laughs> <laughs> that's but, hilarious no but uh no man um this movie it's it, it man it started out with me being kind of hopeful okay it, it, let me just say this there are no fucking surprises in this movie everything that you've seen in any kind of drama not just a, a street dance drama but in anything, you have the whole, uh, my mom doesn't like me to do this, but, oh, she'll come around. Oh, uh, no. I'm, my friends and I, we, we, uh, we, we're not friends anymore because I went someplace good and she had to stay in the hood. But, <laughs> oh, we're friends now. <laughs> the real question. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. The guy I went to, uh, the, guy, the guy I grew up with who, oh, I'm not a sexually attracted to him. Oh, I'm grabbing his balls. Now, you know, it's, it, that, it, everything you've seen in there. Wait a minute. Does it have the, we got to save the rec center? Is that is that part of it? Because that's the one thing it's missing. You know what? No, it didn't have that. Why? Because they fucking danced all over the rec center and just ruined it. I mean, it, no, okay. no, the real question is, was there a dance off at the end? Oh, of course. It's a dance okay. movie. Duh. But, but no, the thing is, is uh, <laughs> speaking of rec center, no, they didn't have a rec center. But I don't understand where they were practicing their moves. They <laughs> There were so many scenes where they were practicing in a hotel. It's like where did they get the money to get this hotel? Then they're, they're practicing in a garage. I don't know if it was like a garage that somebody's uncle owned or if it was a garage at wood shop or because there was one scene where they're like, Hey, uncle, can I practice tonight? And then he's like, yeah. And they're practicing in this garage. And I'm thinking, okay, well, that's his uncle's place. But then there's another scene where they're practicing in the morning and two guys get in a fight <laughs> And some random white dude just comes out of nowhere. Some old random white dude. Break it up, guys. Break it up. I'm like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, it's like when they're practicing, they dance on these cars. <laughs> oh, like, hell no. Not only do they yeah, dance right? on the, not only do they dance on the cars, you're thinking like they don't put a dent in the hood. I'm I'm I am letting go of reality. I'm like, oh, they dance so well that they have a technique where they don't ruin the cars. That's stupid, I know, but I was grasping. But then that chick. She gets so pissed off at the end of dance that she just kicks in the window. She's like, ah! Yeah, I'm assuming this is in the ghetto. So oh, you yeah. think some motherfucker's getting shot is what would be happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some dude walking in, what the fuck happened to my car? <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. But no, it's, uh, so what the story is about, this girl gets, uh, she's at a, at a, uh, at a prep school, rich, rich, rich prep school. Yeah. And she gets kicked out because, uh, I she's, she's black. Yeah, of course. They, <laughs> well, she's, she's, uh, I think she's an athlete or something. What the hell was she doing in prep school anyway? <laughs> Now, let me look up and see what exactly happened to this girl, because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what I'm talking about, because there was there was some, uh, you know, black people going to talk in these kind of movies. And they were talking behind me so loud at the beginning. But on top of that, and I'm not making fun of anybody, but 
there were some special people in there. <laughs> and the whole movie, all you heard, Nyeh! 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 <laughs> I know that's mean, but <laughs> like, hey, that's the audience for this movie. Nyeh! 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 <laughs> I didn't realize there was a retarded demographic. <laughs> well, uh, they were there in droves for this. I don't know what <laughs> happened. You make it sound like Chewbacca was sitting there watching it with you. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Yeah, brr, brr. <laughs> Is Chewbacca retarded? <laughs> Nobody well, of course. He sure can step. It was either Chewbacca or a very hairy retarded dude next to me. I don't know. Okay, shit. I'm looking on the internet. They ain't telling me why. She she got kicked out, all right? I know she had some injuries. She was crying and holding her leg. I don't know. Maybe one of these white kids sabotaged her or something. <laughs> Stuck a poison dart in her to get out of there. I don't know. But Steroids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she's lying there. I got kicked out because I had an injury. Bitch, she was on steroids. Quit lying. She, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she, no, she gets no, kicked. No, seriously. I've never used it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, 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 <laughs> she, she, she looking like Chewbacca. She got a beard. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> but, uh. What's this hair coming out at your ass and everything? But she, uh, she gets kicked out of the school. She has to go back to the, to the hood. And of course, a lot of her old friends are like, Oh, here comes Miss Bougie back to the neighborhood. And what you doing here? And it's only through her dancing that she's able to get back in good graces with everybody. It's a little hard at first because she's looking out for herself. She's trying to dance with all the crews that she feels makes, makes the most money. And, She's always backstabbing somebody accidentally. I mean, she's just doing what she has to do. But it, she, oh, what the fuck am I? You, you're you know, boring me. I know. Yeah. It's like, it's like, what am I telling you about this? I mean, there's nothing. I was sitting there waiting for the big, crazy dance, dance sequence because they do a bunch of stepping. I mean, they, through most of the movie, it's like watching backup dancers. It could be backup dancers, the movie. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, I'm starting to feel like if you go out there on the street, you know, I could walk around like Harlem in the middle of the night wearing like money strapped to my chest. And as long as I could dance, I'd be OK. That right. No. I mean, I don't need no. a gun. I just need to be able to dance. And is there a reason why this hasn't made a Grand Theft Auto game like this yet? Well, can, let me tell you something. You can't have money strapped to you and dance in this room safely. <laughs> you <laughs> you will get beat over there and I will run out of here with some cash. But uh, <clears throat> no, it's it, man. What can I tell you? I'm, I mean, like stump the yard. Yeah. God damn. You know, I, I like that movie a, a, a lot just because I love those dance sequences. I mean, as unrealistic as some of them are, they're very well choreographed. They shot well. This movie at first, I was like, this is a gritty, realistic feel. And that realism just kept going. It's just kind of like, okay, looking at, it's like watching these guys rehearse. I never had that. It's not bad. It's it's impressive. But I, I, I never had that moment where I got up and I wanted to clap and be like, Damn. Yeah, and no, I never got that. No, that's like, too bad because that's the only thing a movie like that would have going for it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 uh, it's it, 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 like I said, it, it, for these kind of movies, we don't expect them to have deep plots. No, if they do, all. that's great. But normally they don't. So you go in there and say, "All right," you go to a horror movie to see people get killed. You go to a sex comedy to see sex. You go to a romantic comedy to see them get together. You go to a dance movie to see them dance and these sons of bitches just acting like they were rehearsing the whole movie so was it like crossover where you you know you think you're gonna see a big basketball movie but it's really just like a soap <laughs> opera with one basketball game at the very beginning and this is i'm not gonna put this in another review but i since we're doing this, this is unedited audio people i'm just gonna sidetrack for a moment y'all have got to see crossover i mean <laughs> if you st- don't rent it but if you see it on hbo just sit down and watch it for a little while and and leave the room for about an hour come back and you're going to see the big basketball sequences in that movie. There's one at the beginning and one at the end. And the one at the beginning is better than the one at the end. Exactly. Wow. This movie starts out like shooting this money shot. And, uh, it's like a memento. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Get crossover and, and, and watch it backwards. <laughs> just, just, just like get to the end of the DVD and press rewind. <laughs> Not only that, but you get to see them play basketball moving backwards, like running backwards and the shit. Harlem Globetrotters story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, they. Uh, no, this movie is not like that. This movie actually has it keeps these little dance numbers in between, but that's even more frustrating because, all right, oh, this is gonna be the big one. No, no, they, they, oh, this one's gonna be the big. No, hell, no, no. And finally, you're like, oh, this is the one. And in credits, and so I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm like so mad as hell. What about bootylicious? Is there anything going on like that? Any girls that you just like, damn. Man, let me tell you something. And uh, even white boy got to shout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even white boys got to shout. I mean, looking at this, man, it is some uh, fine ass girls in this movie. That's what I'm saying. And they're all 15 years old. <laughs> 
So <laughs> they shouldn't have showed hey, it to me that way. Don't, don't 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 joke around like that. No, you know, I, SWAT will bust down the door. I know, <laughs> I know. No, I'm joking. I'm not child molest. I'm not even after any eighteen year olds. But these, Hollywood fifteen, which means thirty. Come yeah, on. exactly. No, no. These girls are. They, no, they made sure to say that these girls are studying for college, and that's what I want to say about the movie. It's like okay, they put a disclaimer on. Yeah, that. exactly. But <laughs> it's okay to get an erection at people. Yeah, really. exactly. No, that's the good thing about the movie. You know, it's. Uh, the dance sequences aren't bad, and there's this whole thing of stressing education. But now I'm beginning to wonder, it's like, they're saying, look, they're college-bound, so when you're looking at their ass, they're legal. Oh, yes, I'm going to college. You can look at my ass and get a, get a heart on, yeah. So, no, it's, well, the thing uh, to do is to find out where they're going to college, and you figure there's no way they're going to be able to – there's no way their parents can pay for it all. So they'll be stripping somewhere in town. <laughs> oh, well, let me know where. <laughs> I'm not in the strip clubs, but some of these girls in this movie are fucking fine, boy. But uh, yeah, run of the mill, man. I was I was teetering at the beginning on giving it a matinee because I was like, I know the dance move is going to get better than this. But after an hour looking at them stumping cockroaches, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, because that's what they were doing. It's, man, this is this is like stumping cro- It's like stumping cro- uh, cockroaches and just pick it up and <laughs> clap it a little bit after you're done. You know, uh-huh. there, goes, there goes a roach, and you stop. <laughs> you know, so. see, I thought you were going to be all right because I read on Rotten Tomatoes this had an eighty percent rating. Yeah, of course, was, that was from like four critics. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were all from Stomp Magazine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, that's exactly it. So, no, it's uh, I have to give this a rental, man. Really wanted to give it more. But. Not even some old bullshit, though. Not no. sure what elevates it. So far, you've said nothing but bad. You no, no, no. I've said thing. nothing but average. average. I mean, uh, and probably slightly below average. I mean, not worth going to the theater for, but some people who are into this, you can rent this and be satisfied. If you're really into dancing, I don't really see any reason to pay for this because you, I mean, chances are you can dance better than what this movie is giving you. So that's me. Uh, oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>